Tea was introduced into Japan from China between the Nara and the Heian period due to the Japanese nobility's interest in Chinese religion, culture, and goods. During this time, Japan sent several missions to Tang China for the purpose of bringing back cultural and religious elements. At this time, tea was considered precious and was exclusively enjoyed by the privileged class of aristocrats and monks. A book called the Nihon Koki states that in the year 815, the monk Eichu of Bon Shakuji in Omi brewed tea and offered it to the Emperor Saga. However, this kind of tea was very different from the tea that we enjoy today. For various reasons, tea went out of fashion in Japan for almost 200 years. Tea returned to Japan in the Kamakura period nearly 400 years later. The founder of the Rinzai sect, Eisai, was studying abroad in China for Zen's training and brought back tea seeds to plant. He was the first person to write a treatise in Japanese about tea called the Kisai Yojoki, a treatise on the health benefits of drinking tea. In this book, Eisai introduces tea as medicine and as an elixir for longevity, particularly benefiting the heart. It was at this time the enjoyment of tea spread from the aristocrats and monks to the samurai class as well. Whether it is Japanese tea or Chinese tea, black, white, or green tea, they all come from the same tree. Camellia sinensis. The difference in these teas lies in the processing method. Black tea is allowed to ferment. The leaves are exposed to ambient temperatures and high humidity to encourage oxidation, prompting the color to turn reddish brown. Green tea is prevented from oxidizing through a heat treating process. Oolong tea is called semi fermented because they stop the fermentation after allowing a light, controlled oxidation to occur. This fermentation is not caused by bacteria or yeast, but by oxidative fermentation, similar to when peeled apples turn brown when left out. With sencha tea, heat is applied to the leaves very soon after picking, typically via steaming, in order to deactivate the oxidase. Because of this, green tea like sencha contains the highest levels of the amino acid called the theanine, which has benefits for focus and mental function. There are also many other classifications of green tea. Fukamushi cha, one variety of sencha, which in the processing of the leaves has been steamed two times longer than other variety of sencha. This gives it a deep color and a fuller flavor. Gyokuro. Gyokuro is a fine and expensive type that differs from sencha in that it grows under a shade that blocks up to 95% of the sunlight for approximately 20 days before harvesting. Encouraging the leaves to produce more chlorophyll, theanine, and fewer tannins. It is also harvested and processed entirely by hand. Kabusencha. Kabusencha is made from leaves grown under a shade that blocks up to 80% of the sunlight for about two weeks prior to harvest. It is less expensive and a bit less delicate in flavor than gyokuro. Tamoryokucha. Tamoryokucha has a tangy, berry like taste with a long almondy aftertaste and a deep aroma with tones of citrus, grass, and berries. It is also called guricha. Bancha, lower grade of sencha, harvested as a third or fourth flush tea between summer and autumn. Aki bancha, autumn bancha, is not made from entire leaves, but from the trimmed unnecessary twigs of the tea plant. Kamairicha. Kamairi cha is processed via the Chinese method of dehydration, pan firing, and only makes up about 5% of Japanese tea produced today. Kukicha, a tea made from stems, stalks, and twigs, kukicha has a mild, nutty, and slightly sweet flavor. Konacha, konacha is the dust left after processing gyokuro or sencha. It is cheaper than sencha and usually served at sushi restaurants. Matcha, a fine ground tea made from tencha. It has a very similar cultivation process of gyokuro. It is expensive and used primarily in Japanese tea ceremony. Matcha is also a popular flavor of ice cream and other Japanese sweets. Tencha. Half finished products used for matcha production, which will eventually be milled into matcha. Like gyokuro, it is cultivated in the shade, so it has a sweet aroma. Unlike the other green teas, tencha is not rolled during drying and its stems are removed to prepare it to be ground into matcha. Genmaicha. Genmaicha is a blend of bancha or sencha and the roasted genmai, brown rice. It is often mixed with a small amount of matcha to make the color better. Hojicha. 
Japanese green tea that is distinguished from others because it's roasted in a porcelain pot over charcoal. The tea is fired at a high temperature, altering the leaf color tint from green to reddish brown. Shincha, or new tea, connotes the first flush harvest. The name is used for either sencha or gyokuro. Today we join Michael and David as they show us their visit to the Yokotan tea farm and give us a behind the scenes look into the processing of sencha. Hi, I'm Michael and this is David and we're here today to tell you about our recent visit to the Yokotan tea farm. Yokotan is uh, located in Sayama district of Saitama Prefecture, which is about an hour and a half west of downtown Tokyo. Uh, the Yokota family has been producing tea on this farm for six generations. The sixth generation son, his father and his grandfather still work here producing the tea that they've produced for over a century. The entire farm is only about five and a half acres. We were very lucky to get an introduction to this farm. Uh, Saitama used to be a very well-known tea producing area near Tokyo, but over the years, the city has encroached on the tea plantations and now there are only a few small farms left. Fortunately, we were able to be introduced to the Okoto family by our friend and an old friend of Japan house, uh, Yoichi Tajima. Let's hear from Yoichi and learn more about the farm. Hello everybody, I'm an alumnus of the University of Illinois, 1987 MBA. Um, I'm very much proud of a Japanese alumnus. There is a nice uh, place like the Japan House at the University of Illinois. And I'm with the uh, Japan House more than 20 years as a director of Japan Alumni Association. I'll be glad you'll have some uh, more interest about the Japanese culture and also a green tea history in Japan. Yeah, have a good time. Thank you. こんにちは。え、私は埼玉県狭山市で狭山茶の製造から販売まで、え、行っております。横田園の園主 横田と申します。え、私、横田園は、え、約150年のお茶の歴史がございます。そのような中で、え、やはりお客様に安心で安全できるお茶作りを特に心がけております。お客様で後継者も育ち、え、毎日美味しいお茶作りに心がけております。
The fresh leaves are first steamed to prevent fermentation and preserve their fresh green color. This must be done within the first few hours after picking. The steamed tea leaves are then fed into rolling machines that begin the process of rolling and drying the leaves. Then they go on to a rotating plate that continues the drying and rolling process. The entire process must be completed in only a few hours, and during the harvest season, the family often works around the clock. Finally, the tea leaves are cut and prepared for packaging. They are packaged in vacuum-sealed foiled packages to preserve their freshness. The on-site farm shop sells a complete selection of Yakoto and teas and tea utensils. The family is looking to expand their products and markets going forward into the future. Recent innovations have included a new line of hochicha products, including a hochicha syrup, which is finding a place in upscale coffee bars and uh, in Tokyo and craft cocktail lounges. Yokota N is located 90 minutes from central Tokyo by train and makes a great day trip when combined with the historic town of Kawagoe. Please visit the website at www.yakotan.com. We would like to extend a special thank you to David and Michael, as well as the entire Yokota family and Yoichi Tajima for appearing in today's video. Please join us for the next Japan House Shares on Sunday, June 20th, as we present Karuta, the card game, with Assistant Director of Academic Programming here at Japan House, Lindsay Stirak.